Three, two, one. Action! My name is Curtis Ryan Woodside. I'm a filmmaker and Egyptologist from South Africa. I will be making my move to Italy permanent, where I will be living with Filippo, after more than a year and a half of not being able to get back. Gigi Lamoroso! I have visited Tuscany a couple times before, but this time it's a little different. Now it's about settling in. So come with me on something that I don't usually do, a vlog, and see what we get up to almost every week. Ceci! Ciao! Ciao, Romeo, dice ciao! Ciao! Ciao, William! Ciao! So we're, we're having a walk in the city center this morning uh, before I leave to go to Bufona. And William is going to show us some of the history of Florence. Ciao! Si? Si! <laughs> Grazie! William, cos'è? What so, is this? The one you, you have um, here, right? it's called uh, Bucchetta del Vino. In Florence, uh, around the 17th century, if you walk on the street, if you like to have a glass of wine, you could have a glass of wine directly from here. And uh, avoid it to get inside the shop. They sold you a glass of wine. So like a wine drive through Yes. <laughs> See you. I'm coming. I'm coming. Ciao. 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 Sì. Allora, c'è il segno. E qual è il nome? Cupola di Duomo. Sì. Grazie. Anche dei Brunelleschi. They're having fun. Yes. <laughs> Boom, right there. Point. Boom. This is the spot where it stopped. So the ball on top of the dome fell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because of a storm. Full I don't minute. remember exactly. Mm. Okay, and it fell right there. So this is a cingale, which is a wild boar. It's a very famous symbol for Florence, but you might recognize it from Harry Potter. It's, it's actually the symbol for Hogwarts. They use it in the movie as well. So that's quite an interesting connection. The bottom of this bronze statue is so beautifully detailed with frogs, snakes, leaves, tortoises, lizards, snails, and all kinds of forest animals. This statue made in the 1500s depicts Perseus where he has chopped the head off of the Gorgon Medusa. So we are in Signoria Square. This is the Palazzo Vecchio, so the Palazzo della Signoria, the palace where the Medici family lived. And uh, here on the brick, on the stone, we have uh, a sketch 
the legend says that Michelangelo was sitting here on this stone speaking with a friend, uh, talking with a friend, and uh, from the back he made a sketch of, uh, of this guy maybe, of a, or a self-portrait. I don't know. So it's, uh, the legend says that's made by Michelangelo. After taking in a little bit of the art and um, architecture of Florence, it was time for me to head off to Cortona. Cortona is a very historic city and for the antiquarian they put on a very traditional display. So I am here in Cortona yet again. Um, Dr. Zaki Hawass is going to be giving a lecture about the discovery of the new city in Luxor, uh, the city of the sun, which has been named as uh, sort of the Pompeii of ancient Egypt. So actually because of COVID, you can see we some of the seats are blocked out, so you can't actually sit there. Um, and, um, and I will see him after the show. The lecture was completely booked out, but I spoke to Dr. Hawass and he actually invited me to come and watch the lecture. He reserved me a seat, um, so I'm very happy that I was able to get in to, to watch the lecture. So uh, it should be very interesting. Buonasera, buonasera a tutti. Sono davvero emozionato anch'io di vedere un teatro così ricco. Veramente con grande entusiasmo. Quindi io se il filmato è pronto lo farei vedere. Oggi con di Tutankhamon. I campioni di tessuto di Tutankhamon per ricavarne il DNA. Crazy, it's unbelievable. It's crazy. Sì, è la madre. Dopo più di 30 secoli sta per essere svelata la vera storia di Tutankhamon. Zai Awas. Every day we have new information about this golden thing. And also mummies. And finally, to search for the tomb of Cleopatra and Mark Antony near Alexandria. l'Egitto e l'archeologia, noi amiamo il nostro territorio e speriamo che Awas lo possa rappresentare nel mondo. Grazie. So, I have just come out of the like little party after um, Zahi's lecture. There was like a little bit of uh, a few of the, the guests who were Zahi's guests at the lecture. Um, all had some drinks and snacks uh, outside the theater here in Cortona. Sorry. Um, trying to reverse here without dying um, yeah so now I'm leaving to drive back to Florence Zahi's lecture was amazing I couldn't film a lot of it because um, he asked everyone not to film or take pictures during the lecture 
um, because he was showing stuff that has been discovered that will be shown on a documentary in a few weeks' time. So he can't reveal it before it's on the documentary because there's contracts and stuff, whatever. But he spoke about the Golden City that was discovered. Um, he also spoke about some work happening in Ramses II's tomb that we might be able to actually go inside at some point. Um, and new carvings that have been found in Ramsey's tomb, which is exciting because the tomb was so badly damaged. Um, it's a tomb that I've never been into. Um, so when Zahi asked if there were any questions from the audience, because of language barriers, there were not many um, questions from the Italians because they obviously can't speak the language. So I asked a question and I just will let you hear it now, um, I wanted to ask you, the Tomb of Ramses II, will it be open to the public at any point in the future? Actually, it needs many recreation work. And this is why, I don't know, we have to continue working, okay. excavating, yes. until I hope that I can find the sun to connect to with the two tombs, and maybe in the future we can open it more. Okay. But if you come to Egypt, Perfect. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's exciting that I might be able to go into Ramsey's tomb with Zahi one day. Um, so to let you all know how this happened, to say that he would be doing this lecture and I told him I would love to come, but the tickets are sold out. So he managed to get me some tickets, uh, a ticket to attend the lecture. Um, which was really nice, so everything was arranged so well, so I felt like, oh, I'm arriving at somewhere, I don't have a ticket, and I don't know if I'm going to get in, but he, he arranged it very well, so I really appreciate that, um, and the, the lecture was amazing, um, and then I, we, went, we went to do the, the book signing, and I came up with my book, you know, because I'm still, even though he's a friend, I'm still a fan, um, and uh, so he took the book, and he he said, and I said, hi, Dr. Hawass. And he looks, he's like, oh, it's Curtis. He says, take your mask off. I can't see you. So I took the mask off so we could, and he said, okay, now we've met face to face. Bye, say, say, Ciao. say hello. <laughs> It's a video, eh? Oh, okay, I'll do a screenshot. Yes. Um, because we've met on Zoom, uh, we've met on email, he's helped me with projects before, so it was very nice to finally meet the man who has inspired me to be part of Egyptology for all these years now. Um, so I, I had a really, really great day. And then to be able to just stand around and talk to Zahi afterwards was really, really amazing. Um, so now I am driving back an hour and a half, all the way back to Firenze. So I'm staying the night at Filippo's sister's house because, uh, yeah, Donini was closed today. Um, they had a bike race and they gave everyone two weeks notice that you cannot drive a car. So I came through yesterday and I stayed over so then I didn't have to worry about trying to leave Donini. So now I'm back from Cortona, so I'm just staying the night so I can get back to Donini in the morning because it's been a very long day. Anyway, good night. To end, I will leave you with a picture of uh, Dr. Hawass and I. I would like to give a big thank you to my patrons for not only supporting my Egyptology work, but my filmmaking in general. And thank you to all of you for watching and supporting my videos.